Hello, everyone, and welcome to Yoga Restore. My name is Danielle, and I'm so glad that you could join me today. So for today's practice, we're really going to focus on the concept of letting go, relaxing, and cooling the body. So this is a gentle flow type of practice. So we'll be working with sequences such as the moon salutation, and we'll also be uh, working a little bit with a yoga strap, which I'll show you what that is now. If you do have at home a yoga mat, uh, maybe a couple of blocks, two blocks, and a strap, that would be great. Also, we will be on our knees for part of the practice. And so if you have a folded up towel or blanket, that could be really beneficial. Basically, we really wanna focus on being comfortable. So all of these pieces of equipment I just mentioned are to help facilitate that. They are not mandatory. If you don't have blocks, a strap, or um, as I mentioned, a rolled up towel, that's okay. Uh, just take your time, go ahead and you can power off your phone or maybe uh, put on some soft music to relax in the background, dim the lights, and let's just focus on relaxation, letting go, and kind of cooling the body. So the theme kind of for this practice, I'm thinking about kind of the energetics of summertime, of it being hot and sunny. You can see I've got my uh, sunflower shirt on. So in the middle of the seasons, there's always a different energetic quality. So this could be a great practice if you really wanted to focus on cooling down, let's say on a hot summer day. So go ahead and unroll your mat and let's get started. So once you get to your space, you can roll out your mat like I have here. A uh, yoga strap or a belt is very useful. We'll use it near the end of class. But as I mentioned, if you don't have one, no problem. I'll show you what you can do without it. So um, if you have yoga blocks, these are just to make the poses a little more accessible. I'd just like to demonstrate that. Uh, you can set them at the top of your mat like I have here. And then I have a nice folded up towel. So this can be placed under the knees or we're going to at the beginning of our practice today, use it to relax on our back. So go ahead and find a comfortable position. We're going to start with a check-in today. So you can remain seated if that is better for you, or you can come into reclined fish pose with your towel. So if you're using a towel, you're gonna to gently recline back and you can adjust it as you need to, just to offer a little lift here in the head, neck and chest area. And then I'm gonna invite you to either bring the knees close to the hips and relax that way. You can extend the legs long if that feels all right for you for fish pose. Whatever feels good here is what I would like you to do. Go ahead, take a moment and perhaps softly close the eyes when that feels right for you. No matter what pose you have chosen to begin your practice in, I invite you to take a few nice, deep, slow breaths, breathing in through your nose and exhaling completely through the nose or the mouth. Take just a few moments here. You can close the eyes. You don't need to watch the screen. And I just want you to allow the body to sink down towards the earth. Allow everything to settle as best as you can today. Letting the muscles relax down. See if there's anywhere in the body, you can soften the muscles, you can relax, you can release. Start to slow down your breathing. Breathing in and having a long, slow exhalation. If it helps you to focus on the breath, 
I would encourage you at this time to try a technique called counting the breaths. We're going to count the breath in, the inhalation to a count of four, and then exhale to a count of six. So when you're ready, you can begin. It'll be something like this. You go at your own speed, inhale in, two, three, four, exhale out, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale in, two, three, four, exhale out, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Go ahead and give this a try, slowing down the breath. Take a few rounds here. This technique can be a great way to focus the mind as well. Breathe in to a count of four. Exhale to a count of six. Complete one or two more cycles here of counting the breaths, if this resonates with you. Good. And then before we begin our practice for today, I just invite you to check in with your mental and emotional energy today. Know that it is completely okay if you show up to the yoga mat and perhaps you feel tired or frazzled or you have difficulty concentrating. All of these experiences are valid. Just start to observe and notice without judgment. When you're ready, friends, there is no hurry. I invite you to just commit for this next while, perhaps setting an intention, a thought, word, or phrase for your practice. Returning to your phrase whenever your mind wanders. Start to add little movement back into your body. We're going to make our way to a seated position to begin today's practice. So whenever you're ready, you can always wiggle fingers or toes or stretch any which way. Yoga is so good for helping you tune in to what your body needs. Go ahead and when you're ready, you can roll gently onto your side. If you were using a towel or a pillow, a cushion, a blanket, push it aside and just gently, nice and slow, start to bring yourself back to a comfortable seated position. Once you get there, I'm just gonna invite you to start to unwind the body. We'll start from the top of the head down. Let's start to stretch our head, neck, and shoulders. So maybe taking one ear towards one shoulder, maybe reaching fingertips down and away. Feel that lovely stretch down the side of the body. Breathing in and out. Sometimes exhaling with an audible sigh helps to cool the body and relax and calm it. Let's go ahead and tuck our chin towards our chest. You can move the head a little from side to side, relaxing the head, relaxing your neck. Take a big inhale and exhale. And let it go. 
Let's go ahead and take the other ear towards the other shoulder, feeling a nice stretch down the neck. Breathing in and out. Let it go. Awesome. And then slowly bring the head up and just move the head from side to side, relaxing this area. Good. Awesome. Once you are, you feel like you've completed that, you're in a good stopping area, you can start to roll your shoulders up, back and down. Great. Awesome. And then today we're gonna to take our arms out to our sides and we're just gonna rotate through the body. So you don't have to twist too hard. I just want you to move through the space kind of playing with feeling the coolness of the air on your skin as you move. We're gonna to start to kind of wrap the arms around the torso. So depending on if you're experiencing tightness in the back or anything at all, just do this at your pace. Gently wrapping the arms around, a little free form movement. Good. Let's do about four more, reaching one way. And then the other, wrap one more time each way. Nice little wrap through the spine and around. Great. Next time you come around, place your hands right on those knees and let's go right into seated cat and cow. So arching the back forward, opening the chest, take a nice big inhale in, maybe look up towards your ceiling. And exhale, chin to chest, round through. Let's do this a few more times. Inhale, arch. And exhale, lower. Inhale, arch. Exhale, lower. Last time. Inhale, arch. And exhale, lower. Great. Come back to that lovely neutral spine and let's take a gentle twist one way. Good. And then spiraling through the center of the body, twist the other way. Great. Let's go ahead and release that back to center. And let's take a minute to stretch out our legs a little bit here. So um, you can start by finding a comfortable straddle here. So you can keep the legs close together, a little bit wide or wider still, it's really up to you. But right now we're just going for kind of a more passive stretch. So kind of loose, letting the legs be loose. You don't have to lock into anything. From here, once you find a position that feels pretty comfy for you today, you're gonna sit up nice and tall and I'm gonna show you how to use a block here if you would like to. Again, it's not mandatory. Go ahead and sit it up on its tall edge about a foot or foot and a half, 16 inches away from you. You should be able to just touch it with the hands. Let's go ahead and inhale and reach over towards one leg and the feet are just loose this time. So you don't have to hard point or flex the toes. And then from here, I'd like you to try to reach towards your ankle and take your back hand and reach the opposite way. So we've got a little bit of opposition happening here. Twisting one way, contracting those abs. Good. And if your calves and hamstrings are super tight and this is too intense for you, you can always use a block to keep things more upright. That's one of the best uh, benefits of using blocks or equipment such as this is that if inversions or anything is too intense for you, it adds a little bit of height. So let's go ahead and slowly start to come up. Big inhale, exhale, and let's try that the other way. So we'll take the arm towards the other leg, nice and loose, start to really tune in to your body here. Where are you feeling the stretch? A lot of times people think this is a leg stretch, but it can also be a side body stretch or even a back stretch. Inhale, and then reach towards your ankle. Opposite hand reaches back. And if you like, you can try to look over that back shoulder. Again, modifying by keeping it up here. Great. 
just kind of warming up the body. Relax the muscles of your face and jaw. Let the face be relaxed. Smile on your face, smile in your heart. Let's go ahead and come on up back to center. And then from here, if you'd like to try this with the block, I invite you to go ahead and hold on to the block gently with your hands. Take a big inhale in and then gently start to fold forward. Find that edge. I like to come flat back forward and then relax forward. So I'll show you this from the side as well. So go ahead, you're in your straddle. Find your edge. So you come down flat back. And then when you find that edge, you can gently relax and soften. You can use the block to keep it a little bit higher up. Or if you have the flexibility, you can rest your forehead on the block itself. You should be able to wiggle your toes, move your feet. Wherever you're at, I invite you to take a big breath in. I'm gonna face the front again. And then just relax for maybe two breaths in this forward fold. Great. All right. So we'll take our time to come up. Good. Using your hands to help. You can put your block right back to the top of your mat like we had it before. And then just go ahead and bring your feet together. Windshield wiper those feet side to side. Good. All right, we're gonna make our way up to standing for our gentle moon flow today. So we're gonna come to hands and knees just for a minute. And if you do have that towel or if you need any extra cushion under those knees, feel free to do that at any time. So you're gonna come into that lovely tabletop position. Let's arch the back a couple times. Doing our cat and cow again, just such a great way to release tension in our spine. Good. Awesome. Once we get there, let's just go ahead and tuck our toes. And you may want to keep your, uh, your cushion here because we will come down to the knees again in a little bit. You can come into downward dog. If inversions like downward dog do not work for you, you can just come up to standing. We're only going to be here for a moment. Take a big inhale. Lift the hips high. Look towards your belly button. Good. And then exhale. Step one foot and then the other foot forward. Come to the top of your mat. And we're gonna do some gentle twists here. So before we do that, let's place our hands on our shins. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, lower. Let's do that one more time. Little spinal stretch, inhale, look. And exhale, lower. All right, we're gonna do a stretch here and I'm gonna show you from the front. So you can, you have your choice here. You can place a hand in between your feet. You can use a block if you'd like to get a little bit higher, or you can even place your hand maybe on your shin or your upper thigh. But basically, we're going to do a gentle twist here. So you can choose how low you want to go or if you want to take it up a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and do that twist now. I'll demonstrate today with a block. You're going to set it up on your high edge and reach up. And I want you to take a moment wherever you're at. You can bend your knees as much as you need to here. See if you can straighten the leg of the arm that you're lifting. So I have my right arm up, right leg is starting to straighten a little bit. Good. All right, let's bring our hands down and let's try that on the other side. So you're gonna inhale and twist, reaching up with your left hand or which other hand you're working, and then see if you can very gently start to straighten your left leg. All right, exhale lower. Let's try that one last time. So finding your variation, I'll show you without the block. Inhale, right hand up, straighten the right leg. Exhale lower and lifting up your left hand. Straighten that leg. Good. 
All right, friends, let's go ahead, set your block out of the way, take a big inhale, arms up, and come all the way up to standing. Take your time to get there. And once we get there, we're gonna take those arms above the head, thread the fingers together, index fingers touching for our Kali Mudra. And then let's step, step our feet a little bit closer together if that is accessible in your practice. Let's go ahead and do a gentle back bend here. And then lean to one side and other side. All right, we're gonna go into a round of our moon salutation, taking our time with this. Again, um, if it is available to you, you can use a towel, you don't have to. We're gonna step wide. I'm gonna show you how you could use one. Part of the beauty of recording uh, our practice is that you can go back and use these options later. All right, so go ahead and step wide for me. Let's take our hands and bend at the elbow, cactus arms, wide fingers, and then bend the knees for horse pose. So we're gonna add a little bit of movement with horse pose today. So find this wide open position. And then I want you to inhale, stretch up. Exhale, lower down. Two more times, inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach. Excellent. Good. We're going to take a little extra stretch here today. Take your hands to your knees, torso comes forward, press one shoulder down. Good. So we're taking our basic moon salutation sequence, but a couple little stretches in between, kind of flowing through it. So go ahead and just press that shoulder down. Good. And inhale. Come on back up, back to our horse pose. And then from here, let's turn our right toes out to the side of the mat, left toes in facing forward about a 45 degree angle. Let's bend that front right knee, hands come out to our side and let's find warrior two. Good, relax your shoulders. Let's go ahead and take left arm up, right hand resting on that right knee for side angle. Arm can be up or extend it long. Let's take a big inhale, come on back to warrior two, flip your front palm and let's reverse our warrior. Good. From here with this gentle flow, come back to warrior two, start to straighten your front knee and let's come into triangle pose. And really enjoy this wonderful intense stretch. As always too, if you're newer to yoga or if your muscles are super, super tight, Remember, you can always use a wall. You can use a chair holding on to it. You can always take things up higher. You don't have to go as deep into the poses. All right, from here, we're gonna come into a lunge. So let's go ahead, let's take the arm down, bend the front knee, turn to face that side wall. This is where if you'd like, you can slide that little towel down and find your lunge. You're gonna drop that left knee down. Good. And then from here, big inhale. Bring your arms up. We're going to do a back bend here. Good. And exhale, straighten your front leg, head to knee. Now I'm not showing all pieces of equipment here, but real quick, I'm just going to show you. Um, if you have blocks and you'd like to use them, if your legs are again very tight, when you're doing these low lunges, you can place your hands on a block. So we're straightening the leg, head to knee. Blocks are an excellent tool to make poses more accessible for folks. Breathe in and out. I'm gonna set my blocks handy. I'll put them there in the middle. We'll use them again in just a sec. All right, let's go ahead and bend that front knee. And now from here, we're gonna uh, change into a side lunge. So I want you to take your hands on the inside of the right leg, lift the left knee off of the mat, turn sideways into a side lunge. So you should be facing the side of your mat. I'm gonna give you some options here. You can hold on to a block. Notice how my right knee is bent, left is straight. And come up here if you're newer to yoga or this is better for you, or you can come down low. I'm gonna set my blocks here, hang out there. Hands to heart, find your version. 
All right, and we're gonna basically do that whole sequence coming up the other way. So bend your left knee, straighten your right. Good. From here, we're gonna do that lunge on the other side. So let's pivot around. Hands on either side of that front now left foot, drop your right knee down. Good. And let's go ahead, back bend. Great. And straighten the leg, head to knee. Again, using your blocks if your legs are tight today or you need to keep it up higher. Breathe in and out. Go at your speed, your pace. Let's bend that front knee. And from here, we're gonna go into triangle pose. So you're gonna lift that foot up, start to straighten your front leg. Take your left hand on your left leg and reach up for triangle. So it's a bit of an adjustment. Again, modification, use your block or just keep it up high. Good. Reach up. Nicely done. Good. And all the way up, bend that knee, find your warrior two. Great, let's go into side angle and reverse warrior. So we're gonna go into side angle first. Take your right hand up, left rests on that leg. Big inhale, warrior two, flip the palm and reverse. Great. Big inhale back to warrior two. And then from here, we're gonna turn both toes to face the front. Well, front being the side of the mat. So we're back kind of where we started. We're gonna go into that horse pose again. So finding the bend in the elbow, bend in the knee. Come into that big, wide, open horse pose squat. And then we're gonna take a big inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Good, two more times. Big inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Big inhale, reach. And exhale, lower. Really nice. So let's take hands to heart center. We're gonna try a little balance here. It's up to you, it's optional. Lift one uh, heel off of your mat. Other heel, let's see if you can balance. Balance is such an important part of life. And in yoga, we get the opportunity to actually work on our physical balance, which can be a wonderful metaphor for finding balance in life as well. All right, drop one heel down, other heel, good job. Hands to your knees, press one shoulder down. Get that lovely twist, that opening. In the backs of the shoulder blades and the inner thigh, inhale, exhale, twist. Great, really nice. Now this time before we um, complete this salutation, I invite you to fold the body forward. Just let the body hang if that's right for you. Or again, if you want to take it up and out, choose your block. They're so handy, aren't they? <laughs> All right, let's do a gentle twist here. Again, I'll demonstrate with the block. Reach your right hand up. Great. Lower and switch. Really nice. And lower. All right, friends, go ahead and slowly round through your spine. Keep your wide stance coming all the way up. Take your time and then slowly walk the feet in close together to finish our little moon salutation sequence. Bring those feet nice and close. And let's take a big inhale, arms up. And let's do those gentle back and side bends once more. Gentle back bend, open the chest, open the heart. Exhale, lean to one side. Come through center, lean to the other side. Good. 
and float. Float down. And just let it go, step wide. And let's do some lovely windmills today. Let the arms spiral around, good job. Really nice. All right, as we're uh, considering and reflecting upon this concept of cooling down, of balance, I know I mentioned the concept of the warmth of summertime. In honor of these energetic properties, I'd like to do tree pose with you before we come down to our mats, you work with this strap. So let's go ahead and um, look, take a look at that right now. So we're going to start feet close together, hands to heart center. Again, you can always modify holding onto a chair or wall. Let's get our balance on one foot. Turn your other foot so that the heel rests on your ankle. And now you can hang out here or just start to slowly move that leg up. You can have it above or below the kneecap. Try not to rest it on the kneecap itself. And then once you feel okay, you can grow that tree. All right. Now this is a little more advanced, but uh, for my more advanced yogis that would like to take their balance to another level, take one hand out, take your two piece fingers and thumb, hook them around your big toe and extend out to the side. Totally optional, okay? The wonderful thing about yoga is there are a lot of levels, a lot of choices. All right, so wherever you're at, bring those tree leaves back in and back down and shake it out. Nicely done. All right, let's try the other side, hands to heart. Find your tree pose on this side. Breathe, really feel like those feet are grounded into the earth. Remember that a tree takes many, many years. It starts as a little shoot, maybe it, experiences fires or different things, but it takes many years to become the big tree that you see. Good. Breathe. And exhale, bring it down. Good job. Nicely done. All right, friends, we're going to take a little bit more time to um, work on opening up our hips, uh, stretching the back of our quads, our, our um, I'm sorry, our hamstrings and calves. So if you do have a strap, go ahead and get that out. Um, if you don't have a strap, I'll show you what to do. So we're going to come onto our backs, and it's up to you if you'd like to use your towel for a little cushion, you can. Basically, we're going to be roping our foot in the strap and drawing circles with our foot and then allowing the leg to fall open to each side. So go ahead, relax on your back and let's start working on that. So once you're on your back, take your time to get there. You've got a strap. You're going to lasso it around your right foot and you can hold it in both hands. And we're just gonna start by circling the leg. Your left knee can be bent like I'm showing you here. Or if you have the flexibility, you can straighten the leg. Good. Now, if you don't have a strap today, for everything that we're going to be doing, you can hold on wherever it's most comfortable for you. So you can hold farther up the leg if you don't have the flexibility and you can bend the knee. Or you can try a little bit closer. The strap, just like the block, just makes it more accessible. All right. From here. We're going to hold the strap in our both of our right hands and allow the leg to fall open to the right. Yeah. Again, this knee can be up here. That's fine. This will look different for everybody. I want you to play around with where would you like the leg to go? It can be lower. It can be higher. Notice where you feel the stretch. If you'd like, you can even at this time gently close the eyes. Trying to focus within. Great. Good. 
feeling that wonderful opening in the hip or in the back of the leg. We're gonna to start to slowly draw that leg back up. And now, this is one of my favorites, switch your grip from the, uh, into the left hand and allow the leg to cross across the body. This one really targets some difficult areas to stretch. And again, if you're doing this without the strap, same thing, you're just gonna hold and gently twist. So go ahead and find whichever version is best for you today. Take a big inhale and exhale. There's no competition in yoga. Wherever you're at today is completely valid and good. Speak to yourself with kindness, knowing that showing up is what's most important. Breathe in and out. Great. All right. Let's go ahead and slowly come up and we're just gonna switch sides. So go ahead and switch whichever foot's in your strap or you're holding on to, and let's begin with those circles. So really start to let things settle as best as you can. No, it's all good. You're gonna be okay. Whenever you're ready, allow that leg to fall open to the left, holding the strap or your leg in your left hand. Feel that wonderful stretch on this side. Breathe deeply. Again, thinking about cooling down the body. Great way to help cool down the body is, as I mentioned earlier in class, exhaling through the mouth. So you can do that if you're extra hot. So you can breathe in through your nose and then let all that hot air out through the mouth. Good. Let's go ahead and do our stretch across the body now. Bring that leg up, holding the strap in our other hand. We'll gently cross across that body. Good. Really feeling that nice stretch in the hip. Again, you can back off of it if it's too intense for you. If you haven't stretched this deep in a long time, you can always start small. Good. Breathe in and out. Awesome, we'll go ahead and remove the strap at this time. And I'm gonna invite you to come into any position that feels comfy for you. Maybe you take a little stretch here. We're going to relax on our back in Shavasana, but if laying on your back is not comfortable, you can always come to a seat. Wherever you're at, gently close your eyes when you're ready. Take a few deep breaths. And just start to let everything settle. Breathe in and out for a few rounds, letting the muscles sink down towards the earth. And if you like, you can return to 
counting the breaths as we did in the beginning of our practice, breathing in to a count of four. Exhale to a count of six. You can also, if you set an intention for your practice, you can reflect upon that word or phrase at this time. If you are counting, I just encourage you at this time to let all of that go, allowing yourself to be and be present. When you're ready, gently wiggle fingers and toes, bringing small movement back into the body. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you can start to make your way to rolling on your side. And coming into a comfortable seated position whenever you are ready. Take your time. When you get there, slowly start to open your eyes, doing any last few stretches. I hope that you feel a little bit more relaxed. We'll seal in all of the positive energy and experiences by taking a big inhale. Bring the palms together at the heart. I will conclude. Thank you so much. Namaste. I hope you have a peaceful rest of your day. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day.